smack top soil is the truth Real niggas can't be seduced and be like that nigga boss Mac Tom Soil man spitting game putting game out there for niggas man you understand me because I got to man I just feel like I'm supposed to do that right now you know what I'm talking about happy to be here with y'all motherfuckers boss Mac Top Soil you know how we get down we always come with the bomb agenda for y'all niggas man we always come with our sponsors uh niggas in the news reader listener emails and stuff like that you know what i'm talking about yeah and um our first sponsor is boss mac streetwear in here look at here nigga got on some boss mac streetwear right now some shit i made up today nigga i made this up today out of my imagination brought it into the space of reality for motherfuckers to purchase and rock that bitch relax you understand me red red box red box with the white in there man we're gonna have some various selections up there because i want y'all niggas to be able to get that from me man because i put this shit out there man put the game on the shirt making bitches for on the flirt you know what i'm talking about you think you walk in the motherfucking place with this right here on, motherfuckers is gonna pay attention, man. Bitches will see you, nigga. You will be acknowledgement, nigga, out here, nigga. I don't give a fuck. I be rambling like a motherfucker. Y'all niggas be like, boss, back me. I don't want out here, man. But you know, man, I'm just telling y'all niggas some facts, nigga. Because y'all niggas act like y'all don't know, man. The power. The power of the garments, man. Oh uh, man, I didn't hit my headphone and uh damn boy I tell you man. But yeah, man, you know, we out here, man. Um uh, damn it. I gotta get this fixed, man. Uh, it's always hate. Just just you know faulty equipment man and it's shit and it's new though new live wire shit new shit up in here tripping but anyway man what was i talking about i was talking about how great my garments are man i was talking about i was talking about how tight my shit is man like this shit is really just crushing my fuckers out here man 
y'all niggas, man. Seriously, man, just out here crushing niggas with this. You know? But anyway, let me stop tripping on myself, man. Fuck with Ball Smack Streetwear. Go to the Ball Smack Streetwear uh, website there and um, use promo code Black Love while it's still uh, Black History Month, man, and get the 50% off. I'm trying to show love to all y'all motherfuckers out there doing bad that still want to be trying to shop and have some clothes, some new shit. Some bomb shit, you know what I'm saying? Cop this, man. Black love. Use that promo code, man. Get 50% off right now, nigga. Yeah. Also, if you need some game because you're struggling with your bitch, get off into my descriptions, man. Hit a nigga. Leave a text. Text me. It's always best to text a nigga. Text a nigga. And, uh, you know, we get back, you know what I'm saying, you know, um, jump in on Instagram, you go on to Instagram, jump in the DMs, holla at the ball, smack topsoil, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know, holla, you know, get some game, nigga. All right, um... A lot going on. A lot been going on. Valentine's Day just passed, man. Um, Valentine's Day just passed and shit. You know. Seen a lot of sucker shit. Whole lot of sucker shit, bro. Saw sucker shit. Saw some, saw some motherfuckers get, some, saw some motherfuckers get some L's. You know what I'm saying? I saw some motherfuckers get some L's. You know, uh, and I saw some motherfuckers get some W's. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I mean? I, 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 I you know, I, I saw some L's and some W's. But before I get into the Valentine shit that I saw, man, let me just let me just tap into some niggas in the news, niggas in the motherfucking news, and um, Meek Mill and Takashi, man, Meek Mill and Takashi. I saw it happen when it first happened. And I wanted to marinate on it. I wanted to think about it for a second and just really take it in and think about it and, and think about Meek Mill and all the shit that Meek Mill have done and said and Takashi, the, 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 the brilliance of Takashi 6 9 to pull up on this nigga and press a line. You know, that was, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Put James out fucking one man now. That was beautiful. I I liked that. Um, you know, um, brilliant strategy. Um, winners and losers. Winners and losers. Winners and losers. Who's the winner of that? Who's the winner? Who's the winner in that? Well, off the rip, we would have to say Takashi is the winner in that. Takashi is the winner. Takashi is the winner. You know, in this time, in these times right now, I think niggas is, when you in the limelight, if you have, any, if you are a popping nigga. This is mandatory. This is this is mandatory for even non-popping niggas. But this is super mandatory for popping niggas. For popping niggas. You got to be on your toes when you step out the crib. When you step out the crib, when you make a decision 
that you're going to go to where it's you're going to go to a club you're going to go to anywhere where it's a lot of people and you got you out here in the open you need to be on ready to go head swivel very sober vigilant ready for anything to happen and be able to respond quickly and and i think niggas i think niggas i think niggas need to be mindful like like let's say if your reputation out here is for real nigga shit if you standing on real nigga principles you have made your whole shit on real nigga principles and 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 street shit you been you been maintaining real nigga principles right it's real nigga shit and you've been opening your mouth talking shit about motherfuckers. You've been opening your mouth and talking shit about motherfuckers as a street nigga. Like, you feel me? You done said you're going to do such and such and such to different motherfuckers, right? You open your mouth and you say shit, right? As a street nigga, you open your mouth and you say shit as a street nigga and then the nigga that you talking about approaches you out in the open at that point you have to there, there has to be you have to respond ignorantly and I've said this many times in the past when I when I talk when I talk about real nigga shit a lot of niggas get caught up in what I be saying, man. But one of the tenets of real nigga shit and 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 and, and real niggas is gonna back me up on this no matter what, no matter what, no matter what. As a real nigga, you have to be willing to go the distance behind stupid shit. You have to be willing to go the distance behind stupid shit. What does that mean? What does that mean? That means a situation like Meek Mill was just in. Where he had a motherfucker yelling at him. Who he said he was going to do such and such and such and such to. Now. Once him and 6 9 start having words of yelling together like that, the only option for Meek Mill in that scenario to preserve his real nigga integrity is to call for the fade right now. We, I need to get ahead of fade security, stand down clearly. Security, y'all got to stand down. Can I get security to stand down? Everybody calm down. All that yelling and calling you a bitch and a bitch and bitch and you a bitch and all that, 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 all that, all that right there. See that? See, by Meek Mill engaging in that type of rhetoric with him, he diminished himself and revealed that he may not be like a 100% real nigga like he been portraying out here because right in there, once, once, see, because you assess the situation right now. I got my security. He got his. Okay, this yelling, we can't do that. We can't do the yelling. Everybody stop. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Security, look, 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 look. Head up, fade. Let me get this head up. Let's go right over here. Look, look. Hey, let us get this head up. I, I, I don't, I'm don't, i not going, you know, I, I would got right in the count. I need the head up fade. Can we get the head up fade? Hey, yo, uh, yo, security, can we do this? Can we stay? Because clearly, you know what I'm saying? Either that or never had went out there when he knew he was out there. So in my assessment, Meek Mill takes an L right here. He should have did something right in there to to call for the fade or or try to take off on him 
with or try to take off on him with the justification that this man has approached me out here and I don't know what's happening. All that, he trying to take me to jail, he a fed and all that. Once this encounter starts to happen, you have to you have to call for the fade clearly clearly i people say he called for a fade i didn't hear it when i reviewed the tape I, maybe i missed it or something but nigga it's ignorant and i know a lot of people's like man meek mill got a lot to lose and this and this and that but hey man once again man a lot of the, all white people is void of this conversation all white people Y'all don't have no input on this. This is some real nigga shit. As a real nigga, it's certain types of shit that, that gotta happen when you talking that shit like that. You talking that shit like that. Now, to make this worse, see Meek Mill's track record. His track record for real nigga for 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 his his gangster encounters, man, because we got to see consistency in a gangster encounters. One of his most notable gangster encounters is he has Safari packed out. He has Safari packed out. And I remember this on that when Safari got packed out. I, I, in my thoughts, man, I was like, you know what? If I was Safari, I would have tried to fight through them niggas to get the meek meal. I would have just tried to beat the shit out of one of them. Y'all would have had to make a spectacle out of beat my ass. Fuck, fuck that. Y'all gonna make a spectacle. You really sent niggas to pack me out. You understand me? This is, I'm getting on a tangent. Sa sa safari. Niggas pack out Safari. Nigga talk super tough to academics on Clubhouse. I was listening to that. I was like, man, I was getting offended for academics. I was like, man, academics need to tell this nigga to shut the fuck up, nigga. Whatever you gonna do, do that shit. Nigga, send the killers, man. All this talking, man. That nigga was talking super tough to academics. Talking about, nigga, you couldn't even talk in a certain tone if you was in my presence. This nigga told academics, nigga, you, can't, you couldn't even talk in a certain tone if you was in my presence but 6 9 just called him all types of bitches pussies all types of shit all types of shit you know what I like Meek Mill though man you know I, the reason why I like Meek Mill he always had he always had the real nigga movements down like you know when a nigga be rhyming like in the video he got the real nigga movements. He got them real nigga movements down, but like, but when it be like real nigga time, man, he always be flunking that test. Like in the battle with Drake, he flunked that. Uh, with Game, he flunked that. His battle with Game, he flunked that. Even though the homies kind of thought the Game was picking on that nigga, niggas, the homies was kind of mad at Game for picking on him, but. You know, once again, Game just seeing the bitch made shit in him. So, you know what I'm saying? Game called for a fade with him privately. He turned that down. Then he put hands on, he had his people put hands on the, the Drake ghostwriter. The, the nigga who ghostwrited for Drake, he, he, put, he had his people put hands on him. He put, his people put hands on Beanie Siegel, who was sick and unhealthy. And the OG, you know, from his own shit, humiliated beans. What else does nigga do? Turn down the fade with uh with uh Nicki Minaj husband. Turned down the when when Nicki Minaj husband put pulled up on him. When Nicki Minaj husband then pulled up on him in Beverly Hills, he turned that down. You feel me? Niggas turned down phase with real niggas, man. Niggas turned down phase with real niggas and packed out niggas who wasn't tough. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, Meek Mill, you feel me? Like, I don't know, man. Meek Mill, man, little issues with his. With, with Philly, all this little shit he be having, the pound side pop, nigga, all the little issues and shit. 
be having a lot of motherfucking issues. Niggas be having issues. So 6 9 is up one. Good promotions for 6 9 for his new single. He know what he doing. He a media specialist. That motherfucker know what he doing. That motherfucker know what he doing. Wow. What else could I say about this shit? Um... That's it. That's all I got about that. See what niggas need to do, man. This is what y'all niggas need to do, man. When y'all see 6ix9ine, man. See, real street niggas, man. When a nigga is a full scale snitch, you don't even talk to him. He's the ghost. He turn into a ghost to you, man. He turn into a ghost to you. And if he pull up on you when you out in the open, you just say, hey, man, I, I, you know, I can't have no conversation with you, friend. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know. And you have to go the other way. You can't, you don't engage with no nigga that's a, he a snitch. He know he a snitch. Everybody know he a snitch. And nigga, you're not even supposed to have dialogue. You're not even, snitch niggas ain't even supposed to be able to call you on the phone like that's why i was saying even gilly like when gilly even listened to that nigga plead his case that nigga called gilly and tried to plead his case for an interview even listening to that nigga is a violation listening to him talk is a violation you gotta be like nigga i cannot talk to you respectfully bro i can't talk to you Stop, dude. I'm not going to get into no yelling. I can't talk to you, bro. You understand this. You feel me? You know? Now, all the niggas... Now, Meek Mill talked shit about a lot, a lot of aggressive shit about him. Instead of just writing niggas off. Like, not worrying about it. Letting the world deal with him and shit. Nigga want to make it his business. And so now it's his business. Anyway, let me move on to some other shit, man. Let me get off this bullshit. What else I got? Oh, another nigga in the nose. FKA Twigs, man. FKA Twigs. I know y'all. I, 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 I know this is some weird shit right here. This Often just start having an argument with me in the middle of the night, start accusing me of doing all sorts of things, planning to leave him in my head. He'd wake me up and tell me I was disgusting, that I was vile. All the things that he was accusing you of were absolutely not true. Nothing was ever true. Like, this is the thing, but, but I would really doubt myself, you know, especially when I'd, like, wake up and he'd be like, you were lying there with your eyes open, planning to leave me. And I'd be like, I literally was asleep. But then he would, like, only want me to sleep naked because he said if I didn't, then I was keeping myself from him. So, you know, it's a tactic that a lot of abusers use. It's just this like constant availability and everything centered around them. And I think, you know, that's why I wanted to come out and talk about this because the signs really are there from the beginning. So when did you think maybe there are some issues here, there's a problem? There wasn't one set moment. But it's very subtle. That's the thing about, you know, domestic abuse, domestic violence. It's a real gradual step-by-step -step process to get somebody to a place where they lose themselves so much they accept or feel like they deserve to be treated in that way. It's not one thing, it's loads of tiny little things that get sewn together into a nightmare. Wow, this is weird shit. But, this bitch, Fuck with Shia LaBeouf. I guess that's his fucking name. Shia LaBeouf, the white boy. I like FK Twigs, weird ass. You a weird ass bitch. But anyway, she was with the white boy Shia LaBeouf, Transformer. 
and um, so he was beating her ass, torturing her, doing all types of shit to her like he should have. You know how it is, man. You know how these motherfuckers is. These motherfuckers is brazy out here, man. That's what she get for motherfucking being up under that motherfucker. Why are you even up under that motherfucker? But anyway, she could be. If she she did him bad. Say he got a, he made her sleep naked. She had to sleep naked so so she could be be available for usage whenever he needed. Oh wow. Shout out to FKA Twigs. I always like that bitch. What's her name? Put me up on her. Um, Novena Carmel. I mean, Novena Carmel. I can't. I don't want to say Carmel. She get mad at that. Carmel. All right. Um. What? What? Let me think. Um. That was just like a little brief nigga in the news. Let me go to this other one. Um, this other one. Um, DMX on drink champs. DMX on drink champs. I thought that was dope. Um, niggas got faded. Um, I just fuck with DMX, man. I just... You're always happy to see DMX, man. And what's fascinating about DMX is DMX is a little nigga, but he seemed like a big nigga. He a little nigga that seemed like a big nigga, man. Little nigga that seemed like a big nigga. I think DMX, uh, I think DMX had, when I see DMX, I think when he was in his prime, he had extreme real nigga energy. Like, like he had super levels of testosterone. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's what magnetized everybody to him. But, you know, I think that nigga burned himself out, though. I think that nigga burned himself out on fucking bitches. I think he fucked too many bitches. He said he fucked every kind of bitch there is in the world. His niggas was obsessed with fucking bitches. He burnt himself out from fucking bitches. But anyway, it was just a dope show, man. It was good seeing him on there and listening to him talk. Um, niggas should check that out on Drink Champs. One thing that um one thing that, that that seeing him made me think of was belly. Belly. The significance of belly out here, man. Belly. Belly. Belly was so significant for us because it hit right at a time when we was like in our prime, you know what I'm saying? Like 98 when it came out. And uh, when Belly hit, I mean, I had it on bootleg. So I was already appreciating it over and over at the crib. But a nigga went to the movies to see that with bitches. And that movie was so profound to niggas. Especially niggas in the game at the time. Like, if you was a criminal at that time, you was really out there getting money and you was, you was hustling and you had bad bitches, you just related to that film. You just seen yourself as one of the characters in that film. Like, you, like you and your bitch was nice or you and your bitch was DMX and his bitch or you was like one of the other niggas in there, you know. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And it was just, it was really like a good, it was a, what was fascinating about that movie is that movie was the ultimate storyline of that film was retarded as fuck, right? But it didn't fall off until 
the end until you get to the end it just that's when it falls off and it, and it turn ridiculous but the, the different the different little episodes leading up to the the end it's just some memorable, beautiful, beautiful moments of, of real nigga dialogue from Louis Rankin, from, from when DMX go to meet up with Louis Rankin, and you know what I'm saying? And he, you know, he call him scared, and then and then Louis Rankin go off on him, and and then to, you know, the 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 the, the interaction between DMX and his bitch, you know, when you see when you first see them. Um, the interaction between him and his bitch, and 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 just the how to how to, I guess what that film really showed was how the criminal lifestyle really blended into like everyday life, and how niggas is criminals, but you really just living life and dealing with you know your bitches and family and trying to get more money. It just it just was a beautiful, it's just a beautiful film, man. Niggas really saw themselves in different characters, man. Like, 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 it was weird. Like, I'm I'm telling you, man, I went to the movies. I went to the movies with a bitch. And we, you know, we, you know, the, 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 after the movie, the bitch was just floating because she fully, saw herself as one of the bitches in the film and I as one of the characters and we going back to the crib the same as how they was and they shit and we, we it's we it's this it's this criminal shit and we you know what I'm saying it's just beautiful it's beautiful fuck with fuck with belly if you ain't never seen it I I wanna um another nigga in the news Shy the Prince. Shy the Prince. Shy the Prince. Car shot up in Atlanta. Niggas hot. Niggas chasing him. Shooting up the shooting up the car. Chasing the nigga. Shooting up the car. Chasing the nigga. Shooting up the car. Chasing a nigga. Make him crash. Then come back and shoot up the car some more. Now. He wrote a manifesto. And and he's back. He wants to know who did it. He's, he's peaceful. No, you know what I'm saying? And I feel him. I feel that nigga. I feel him. I feel him. But he was in, I, I believe he was in a very expensive vehicle. Um, I think he was in, I think he was in the, uh, in the Bentley the nigga was in the Bentley now niggas could have been hating on the Bentley you know what I'm saying like it could have been hate you know niggas is doing bad out 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 here you know what I'm saying a lot of pain and frustration so maybe niggas you know thought you know what I'm saying I, I can't say but you know what now to me right now now ain't the time to be around here in luxury vehicles I don't think man you know what I'm saying I, I you know you know I, I, I you know I feel like Mad Max right now I feel like you know you want to you want to you want to be around here in the SUV bulletproof type shit man like you want to be in a you want to be in some shit you know, like, 
I, I think right now is the time for low key fast shit like black Dodge Charger type shit. You gotta be. I think niggas gotta be in low invisible shit right now, man. I, I, I just don't think now is the time to show wealth. Like it's just it's it's. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you know, um, you gotta be ready to kill some. If you're gonna be sh- demonstrating your wealth, you gotta be ready to kill some niggas right now. I think this is what this is. This is the I, hey. I think nigga, it, you gotta be ready to kill some niggas. If you're gonna be demonstrating flamboyant wealth, you gotta be ready to kill some niggas right now, man. That's what I'm saying, man. I think. Shout out Shy the Prince. I hope you all right. Another nigga in the news. I want to speak upon this bitch. Uh, and I'm trying to relate all this stuff to the game. You know, I'm trying to show in relation to the game all this bullshit. Monice Slaughter, man. I don't know if y'all know about that bitch. Love and hip hop bitch. Monice Slaughter, man. Monice Slaughter, man. Let me tell you something, man. Monice Slaughter, you know, what can I say about a bitch? Monice Slaughter is a dangerous bitch, bro. Like, like, I was fucking with Mariah out here one time, man, and I was fuck, and I and I went and ate with them, went to Roscoe's with them bitches, and and I just, you know, was just got to behold the presence of Moni Slaughter, man. That bitch is that bitch is a cold motherfucking piece of work. Anyway, she, Moni Slaughter is out here. She outed Dr. Dre and April Jones little uh get down how how they getting down. I guess Dre bought a bitch a, a Range Rover or something like that. So uh Moni Slaughter then got off in there. Sound like a really you know, it seemed you know, I don't know, man. Moni Slaughter is a dangerous bitch, man. It was a it was a it was a hell of a to eat with this bitch and to just listen to this bitch talk for like an hour and just really evaluate a bitch like you know this is a dangerous bitch i can't see how any motherfucker would fuck with that bitch you don't call me and i know they're watching this live I know they're watching this live. How dare you? How dare you send a nigga to bang my motherfucking line and threaten me? I don't care who you think you are. I don't care who the world has told you you are. I don't know you and you don't know me and I didn't say anything negative about you, sir. You can watch the 40 second clip about what I said about you, sir. And it wasn't negative. So don't you send another motherfucker to this phone of mine. To make one more fucking threat. Yeah, Dr. Dre. And I recorded it. Wrong fucking bitch. Wrong move, motherfucker. Suck my dick. You're done. I fucking recorded both conversations. You're fucked up the ass. You thought that aneurysm fucked you up? I'm the aneurysm, bitch. Nicole's not the aneurysm. I'm the fucking aneurysm. I'm the reckoning. I'm the grim reaper around this. You fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked all the way up. And tell your bitch I still want the fucking fade. Yes. Yes, I recorded it. 
and my blood is boiling because all I wanted to do was come through the fucking phone and rip his goddamn esophagus out. Well, who does that? You have a problem with what I said? Fine. We can talk like adults. Fine. You can address whatever you think it is that I said instead of addressing what I actually said. And that's fine, too. But keep that same energy, like I said. Am I the only one receiving a phone call? Or are you going to call the owner of a particular blog who's been running this story for two fucking months? Um, are you just mad at me? Or are you going to talk to your bitch who's been running her mouth? How do I know she got a black Range Rover from you for her birthday? How do I know that you have a salon in your house? I've never been to your fucking house. How do I know? How did I know that that was... Where her and the loving hip hop producer, you got loving hip hop producers in your house, my nigga. Talk to everybody. Talk to everybody. Because the gag is, there's a lot that I could have said and still could say that I haven't said. And I could have said it a long time ago when she was running her mouth about it and people didn't know I don't fuck with the bitch were hitting me with the T. I could have put that out ages ago. I am in my lane. And like I told them on the phone, don't call me because there's 1.6 million people following me and there's a blue check by my name. Don't do that. Because there are hundreds of thousands of people that have been talking about this since December and I was not one of those people. And y'all motherfuckers always think you fucking know everything. Not want to believe that Dre was a woman beater. But after the couple of phone calls that I literally just had. He's a woman beater. For sure. For fucking sure. Like, I was really like, what kind of nigga would fuck with this bitch? And, and at the time, she had like a white bitch, like a lesbian. She had like a le lesbian bitch who was supposed to be the dude, but she was just, she was just handling the lesbian bitch. She was just handling, handling the lesbian. <laughs> she was handling the lesbian bitch, but damn, I was like, what nigga is fucking with this bitch but anyway i guess dr dre sent a bitch death threats about getting involved in the business shout out to dr dre though for uh for popping up with a new fresh bitch uh i you know it's this good energy man i i didn't i never liked his bitch that his wife I always thought that was a bad look for him man you know Sometimes bitches just be a just give you a bad look. You look at a bitch and be like, "Why is this motherfucker with that bitch?" It ain't it ain't even a good look, man. Like, I know that's some petty, superficial shit, like a motherfucker. But man, your bitch gotta look good when you when when you know when y'all come out, y'all gotta look good, man. But if your bitch look weird, like Dre bitch. Dre wife always looked like a weird bitch to me, man. She always looked like a weird bitch. Shout out to Dre with the new bitch, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, now that the April Jones bitches with Dre, I noticed it's something. I noticed something. I feel, I feel a shift in the balance of power amongst them bitches because of this. Because see that, that, see, you know these bitches tap into the power of the nigga. You understand me and radiate. So you know, really, the April Jones bitch been out here flopping around because she was fucking with Omarion and see Omarion really, you know, we 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 still don't know if 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 Omarion is a homosexual or not. You know what I'm saying? See, Omarion and them come from that questionable 
the stuff that was that B2K uh, the stuff that was going on. You understand me? I he never was really clear the cloud of that. You know what I'm talking about? And see that bitch, April then came out and now she's speaking upon that shit, talking about they was using her to cut help cover up all uh, thought that he might be gay. You feel me? And see, that bitch may come forth and sabotage a nigga because look. See, this what happened. I want y'all niggas follow me on this. I don't want I don't want to seem like I'm going way out into some bullshit, but I'm finna talk about some whole treachery and 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 how niggas could get destroyed and 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 mindfulness of bitches. Follow me on where I'm going with these thoughts and processes. You feel me? Now, you take a bitch like the April Jones bitch, right? <clears throat> she was out here fucking with Omarion, right? So Omarion is um, L.A. L.A. guy, L.A. nigga, you know. He's, he got some family out here that might be in the street a little bit. Might have a couple killers over there. His, his mom, his mom's is a rat. I know his mom's is known, um, known. Um, she was out there, man. His mom's, his mom was wild. I remember back in the days when I seen his mom's when we, when I seen B2K up at uh, Linwood way back in the days. And I seen his mom's was a rat. I was like, whoa, this little nigga mom's is a rat. Okay, so that means, you know, he probably got some street, some characters in the family. You know what I'm saying? They probably got a couple, two or three in there, man. And that would that 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 could provide an intimidation factor right there to keep to keep quiet on certain issues. Now look at look at look at what I'm talking about right now. Now follow me. Now see now, you hear me? Now that she up under Dre, you hear me? She under Dre, you feel me? She is free, you hear me? She under Dre now with all her information and she's free. She have a new, she have a new she have a new power base. Killers can be sent out. Killers can be sent out. April Jones is a new bitch now. A, pop, a more powerful bitch. Right now. And this is a bitch who know how to use the power. So already... She done took some shots at Omarion. Already. You see what's happening with Monice unfold. Oh, Monice crumbling. Shit is finna happen. Finna see some shit. Expect Dre. Expect. <laughs> expect Dre to drop some new hot fire music trying to be lit. Watch Dre come back hard. Watch Dre. <laughs> mm. Ain't nothing like, hey, I'm going to tell you, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for Dre, man. I'm happy for Dre. I'm happy for Dre. I'm happy for that nigga because, you know, <clears throat> ain't nothing like having a fresh new bad bitch on the team you feel me f <laughs> you just came out from some oppression shit nigga just came out from some oppression shit and uh, no doubt he he was probably fucking niggas on fu i'm fucking nigga fucking bitches on the low he was fucking bitches on the low out there you know what i'm saying i don't want dre to be sending killers at me trying to call him gay he was fucking bitches on the low. But now to step out in the open with a bad bitch, a new fresh bad bitch, a new fresh boss 
top bitch. A new top bitch. Not, you know, this is my new top bitch right here. That's cool, man. I like that. Shout out to Dre. He, he did. He, you know what I'm saying, nigga. I, nigga, you know, a nigga deserve that. And uh, shout out to Dre. Shout out to Dre. Moni Slaughter is a dangerous bitch. Dangerous bitch. Any nigga that fuck with her is crazy as fuck, bro. I don't know how. Man, it's crazy, bro. You, man. That bitch, bro. That bitch, man. I was amazed. All right, now. Another nigga in the news. I want to speak to this, man. I want to speak to niggas out there, man. Pornhub says this year they have set records in porn in in porn being watched this year. This just past 20, 2020. <sighs> Thirstiness is winning. God bless all y'all thirsty niggas out there, man. May your thirst get quenched. You hear what I'm talking? So much thirstiness, man. So much evil in the world, bro. Anyway. Another nigga in the nose. Shout out to Lori Harvey out here setting standards for bitches. Showing bitches how it's done. Victory after victory after victory after victory. I'm quite sure she had the most respected, lit Valentine situation. Got young um, Michael B. Jordan looking like a whole sucker out here, no matter what. I know a lot of bitches is going to be mad at that I said that and say that I'm hating and I'm rebuking love and all that shit, but I don't give a fuck. It look like sucker shit, bro. It look like sucker shit, man. It look like sucker shit. And, you know, it's all good. Ain't nobody hating. I'm just debating, talking about it right now for the people. You know what I'm saying? When I see the sucker shit, I visualize it, and I got to say that I saw it. It was right there. That sucker shit right there. You know what I'm talking about? But all the bitches is saluting Lori Harvey as GOAT. You know what I'm saying? And I would like motherfuckers to pay close attention to the uh, how Ball Smack could just lay out all the bitches and say this bitch, this bitch, this bitch, this bitch. And just show you how the bitches is racing and running neck and neck. And then one bitch starts breaking away and breaking away from the pack. And Lori Harvey breaking away with the pack, man. She look like a lot for real bitch of the year. 2021 looking like a lot looking like a lot looking like a lot now I would like to call attention to the inverse relationship of how as Lori Harvey as Lori Harvey get goaded by bitches Michael B. Jordan look like more sucker see it's an inverse relationship like as, as Lori Harvey get goaded Michael B. Jordan look more sucker with each extravagant sucker act with each e extravagant sucker act it the goat the goat status <laughs> see like see like 
when you was looking at the Valentine's layout for that bitch, and she and you saw that the you saw that the you saw the ice, and then you saw, and then you saw it was an underground uh, aquarium. You know the goat. Oh, shout out to Boosie for coming out saying, man, we celebrating a bitch for going through niggas. Are we doing that? Are we celebrating a bitch for going through niggas? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Because you know what? We know what it is. We know what it is. And we know that there is a huge chance that Lori Harvey might marry Michael B. Jordan. And then she would begin her ascent as a black Kardashian. You hear me? The ascent would begin it. So, while I recognize Boosie coming in clowning, like, are we celebrating hoes? Yes, we are. Because, the, see, what we have to celebrate with this bitch is um, what I call, it's a, it's a, Y'all follow me on this. Now, y'all might say I'm way out on some bullshit and whatnot. But I believe there is a... There is a... There is a real bitch status. This. Clearly involving behavior of going through niggas but you don't see you know the twerking and uh, it's more of like a polished hoeing you know what I'm saying polished polished real bitch activity and I see and, that, and that's why they celebrate this bitch because she's successful using this particular lane when most bitches get a little bit more, you know, closer to the ground with it. You feel me? So if she marries, if he proposes to this bitch, which I think is like I'm a I'm a I'm gonna go on a limb and say he uh he'll have marriage ice sometime this summer. Sometime this summer, Boss Mac predicting he should he should have he should have wedding ice sometime this summer. I think. Yeah. Anyways, shout out to them. Another nigga in the news. I heard some shit about Brian McKnight treating his kids but his kids rebelling against his kids coming out saying he abandoned them or something I don't know what it was I can't remember but anyway Brian McKnight I was thinking about Brian McKnight and um I, I remembered man I you know cause you know the ball smack is so old uh Bitch mad because I used to. Oh. April Jones says she was controlled into joining Love and Hip Hop with Amarion to shut down gay rumors. Whew. But anyway, let me see. Brian McKnight. It was some shit with Brian McKnight. It's probably way down here and shit. 
That nigga bought that bitch from Hermes. What that bitch? He bought a bitch some Hermes stock for Valentine's Day. Shout out to Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon got, he's he flipping through bitches right now, man. Anyway, I can't find the, the Brian McKnight shit. I'm but anyway, I was thinking about Brian McKnight because, uh, I remember back in the days, he took one of my bitches back in the days. He, one of my bitches, he sent one of my bitches uh, some some Moet to her table. They, she was in the restaurant eating, and he was over at another table, and he sent a he sent he sent a. Why <laughs> McKnight sent a bottle of champagne to my bitch? You feel me? And then my bitch told me about it, like, Prime McKnight sent me a, a, a bottle of champagne. I was like, oh, bitch, you fucked up. Damn, bitch. That's fucked up. Win some, lose some. See, the ball smack topsoil is not always victorious. See, Brian McKnight took my bitch right there. When, when was another? Did I have any other shit? I had a, 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 a defensive lineman that was starting making millions and millions of dollars, took my bitch and wifed her and put her in his house and wouldn't let her out and, and put her in the golden cage. She got pregnant. That bitch called me and said, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. I was like, bitch, you better have a baby. What the fuck wrong with you, bitch? You better have a baby. That nigga worth millions, bitch. What the fuck? She was like, hell no, this nigga crazy. Um, let me think. Where am I at? What the hell am I? What the hell? Shout out to the Gorilla Glue, bitch, man. Um. I was wondering, was that a was that a, a a play for business for Gorilla Glue? Was that like a elaborate? Cause that would be genius. Like if if, if a motherfucker was like, have a bitch put the Gorilla Glue in her hair, and you know what I'm saying? She gon she gon she gon she gon go viral. And then you know what I'm saying. Then the then the then the then the uh, plastic surgeon to get the shit out of her hair. He gets some love for doing it. And then the brand, the Gorilla Glue, get a lot of pub for being very powerful. It had to, it couldn't wash it out. You know what I'm saying? I think it benefit everybody. I think everybody won from that. So I'll take Gorilla Glue if they did that. All right, where we at? Uh, uh, shout out to Texas, man. Um, Texas is being punished by God right now, man. Freezing cold out there. Shout out to Texas. I want to send my love and condolences out there, man. Motherfuckers out there talking about freezing cold and no, no heat. Water pipes busting. Man, I wonder if they punishing Texas because it's Republicans. It's so strong. I, I, I'm, I'm just talking. I don't know, man. It's great. I'm just talking, man. All right. I want to spit some game right quick. This some game. Uh, this is game for my niggas. It's at the top of their game, man, for my niggas. Just really out there shining, getting paper, just really having bitches and really, you know, Bitches is really trying to just 
lock a nigga down like you know what i'm saying you know what i'm talking about man there's certain niggas out there right now it's like really like niggas is really shining niggas is really up young niggas you know what i'm saying you know these is niggas with the superpowers over bitches i'm talking about you got luxury vehicles Everything's working, the jewelry, the clothes, the wardrobe is high, you got the cribs, feel me? This the first, this the first, this, look bro, the first thing a bitch is gonna do is drink the babies bro. All your bitches that you fuck with. First move. When you up high like that, when you really popping, and you got that, and you and you and you immune, you, you you showing that, you know, you ain't really like you ain't really moved by bitches like that. You got that, you got that, you got that, you know, you immune to the bullshit. First move, bitch, do is try to drink the babies. Always pull up, drink the babies first. Try to, hey, re just ready to suck your dick. And a lot of niggas feel super player about that. Ah, oh, nigga, I'm just, I don't even fuck no more. I just get top. I just have a bitch give me top all the time. I just get top. I just be top, 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 top. But the top, top, top makes you tired, bro. I want niggas to always be mindful when you bust them nuts, bro. It's making you tired, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know a lot of niggas, <clears throat> they can't fight this. This is it's too much. Bitches is too, bitches is beautiful. Bitches is smelling good. Bitches is aggressive. When you when you when you when you on top of it, when your game is high, it, they, it get aggressive. And niggas, you know. So that's my word to the to the niggas up there. A lot of average niggas be be begging bitches to suck their dick. But when you popping 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 popping. That's how bitches try to slow you down by sucking your dick all the time and drinking the babies. And 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 no matter what, you are finite amount of semen and energy, and they like a bottomless pit, black bottomless pit. All right. <clears throat> Reader, listener, email. Reader, listener, emails. And um, let me flow and glow. We got some very interesting reader, listener emails right here, man. I hope niggas can appreciate and vibe with it. I'm going to try to get through it real quick. And our first reader listener email, a nigga from St. Louis writes the ball smack. He say ball smack. I've been trying to get at this bitch on Facebook for a few months. We've been flirting back and forth here and there. I, I kind of didn't press the issue because... I was in the process of breaking up with a bitch I was living with for the past two years. About two weeks ago, I accidentally left my laptop unlocked at my ex bitch's crib and she went into my laptop and started DMing bitches on Facebook. She DMed the bitch I've been trying to get at and told her. I had been fighting the un in, had been fighting the incurable gonorrhea for the past year and 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 all type of other wild shit and and all type of baby mamas boss man
I realized it was happening and I got the new bitch on the phone and I tried to explain. She listened, but she seemed like I was bothering her. I felt weird as fuck about this being like our first conversation on the phone. I tried to salvage the good feelings between us, but I don't know if I was successful. I tried to explain what was happening. What is the play to work this out? All right. So basically, you have a whole treachery, sabotages is on the new bitch. See, the only thing you can do, in my opinion, is to fall back and live the best life you can and quit bothering the bitch. Quit bothering and don't even bother the new bitch no more. Don't even, don't even say nothing. Don't try to just, just... Start living your life. Start doing good things, posting good shit, showing that you, 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 you that nigga, and see if a bitch come in and start liking pics again or some shit, man. But don't, don't even, don't get into that bag and shit after. Cause see what it look like is see, see what niggas don't be realizing is when shit like that happen, niggas be wanting forgiveness from the new bitch. Niggas be wanting forgiveness from the new bitch. Based on some shit like, oh, the old bitch is crazy and, you know what I'm saying, she, you know, she out to get me. Try to put it off on the old, on the old bitch, but really, the problem is your shit is out of control and messy. It done already spilt over messily into her shit. And y'all ain't even fucked and went out and did nothing yet. Y'all ain't did shit yet. Y'all just been flirtatious. And, it, and the messy shit done spilt over. Your shit so out of control. Even bitches that, that, that you ain't even established nothing with. Feeling the effects of the bullshit. So, clearly, you a nigga that's unable to manage your affairs properly. What bitch want to deal with that? Don't know bitches want to deal with you. It, it would be different if you was like a hell of a nigga. Like, if you was a hell of a nigga. And then it would have already been unfolded. Because you like the bitch. You know what I'm saying? And if you was a hell of a nigga, she would have been on your, pressing you. So... My, my thing is to fall back uh, and, and, and live your best life. Try to be shining, do what you can and bring light to you. Hopefully a bitch see you, you know what I'm saying? And, you know. But that's like a fumble, man. You just you just fumble, bro. Like, that's a fumble, man. That's, a, that's, that's, that's some of the complications, man. You know. All right, now. A nigga from Memphis, Tennessee, writes the ball smack. He say, ball smack, I'm a nigga out here getting to it. I just got home from prison about a year ago. I hit the ground running. I got four kids, two baby mamas, and my main bitch that held me down through my penitentiary time. Now, I was living with my main bitch and everything was straight. And sometime, some type of way, my main bitch found out I was fucking one of my baby mamas and kicked me out the crib and wouldn't let me get my clothes. Now I have a great wardrobe, all designer, you know, Montclair's, Gucci, etc. So my bitch had me in a twist because I'm on paper. She starts fucking with a new nigga and gives the new nigga some of my clothes to sell, but not all, but some of them. Now the new nigga was a weak, and it was weak and a sucker, so instead of selling clothes, the nigga ran off with the clothes and started wearing them, and posted pictures of himself on the gram rocking my shit. Boss Mac, the bitch calls me begging to get me back and trying to apologize, say she got paper for me, 
saying she was mad, trying to get back at a nigga for embarrassing her and shit. Boss Mag, what do you think is the play? How you feel about this shit? I feel like that's some motherfucking comedy like a motherfucker, man. That's some way out motherfucking comedy type shit, man. Wow. Well, I say, you know, um, you know, man, you know how bitches be, man, when, when, when they was in your corner, when you was in the penitentiary, man, and, you know, man, it's just. Even though I feel like niggas should be able to fuck their baby mamas, though. Like, I, I don't understand why that would be, like, an issue. If you coming back home to just go be able to go fuck the baby. Because it's your baby mama, like, and she been taking care of the baby. And, you know, it's a whole lot. I know I sound brazy as fuck to y'all. But anyway, man. Yeah, man. Um, charge it all to the game. Um, go find the nigga that got the clothes, beat his ass, do something to him, uh, if you can. Um, and, uh, yeah, man, let your bitch come back, man. You know what I'm saying? Let a bitch come back, man. You know bitches be... Everybody in the wrong. Everybody, everybody in the wrong. You got to be more clever with your shit, man. Don't let yourself get caught, man. Don't be sloppy, man, out here, man. Try not. Niggas be sloppy. Niggas be disrespectful with they. That's what it be, man. Niggas niggas be disrespectful to bitches with they shit, man. Yeah. Try to keep it low. Try to. Who am I? I I'm just tired. Well, I'm just tired. I fuck with y'all niggas, man. How long I been talking? Thank you for coming out. The Top Mac Nigga Show is a Boss Mac Industries production. Put your hands together for a special musical guest. I ain't gonna even say no names. California dangerous. California dangerous.